The slugs have been eating my brassicas. My cabbage, my broccoli. My Romanesque. Oh, little blighters that they are. What on earth am I going to do? Since I don't use pesticides in this garden. No. So, let me show you the damage that the slugs have done to my uh, well, brassicas in just one day. I only planted them yesterday. And they've been out I've early in the morning, they have. And they've had a munch on my uh, brassicas. As you can see, they've stripped that leaf there. Yeah, that's gone. That one there is pretty much stripped as well. And then we come over here. Those little belaters. And they've pretty much stripped those as well. And over here. And had a little bit of a munch on there. Oh dear. So what am I going to do to control these flipping slugs? Well, there are a couple of options other than pesticides. The problem with uh, slug pellets is the hedgehogs tend to eat them and then they die. So I would say don't use them. No, not slug pellets. Those blue things. I would personally, and I will be, putting a strip of copper wire or just strip from, you know, from a... Uh, a twin and earth cable, an English cable, and I'll place that all the way around the top of the actual bed. I could even put rings around each plant, just, you know, twist a ring of copper wire with no insulation on, because they don't like to cross the copper. You could also get copper tape the actually as well, you could use that if you want, but it's expensive. There are other options. But also you can create what you call a bear trap. Just literally a little pot sunk flush with the level of the soil and just stick yeah, the dregs of your beer in the bottom of that. You might trap a few wasps as well while you're at it. That'll catch a few, uh, few slugs. That's what we're going to do. You tell me how you control your slugs in your garden. Yeah, little blighters. Oh, ta-ta.